Welcome, basketball fans, to Basketball Stats Explained, a new segment brought to you by Jabber Jazz, which is going to focus on explaining unique stats in the basketball universe. Okay, we're going to start today with a term called effective field goal percentage. You may have heard it thrown around in NBA circles. We'll explain why you use it and, and how it's compared to the standard field goal percentage that you may see in the box score. So field goal percentage is really just the, your made field goals divided by how many field goals you attempt. You know, it's a straight up, uh, it's a straight up calculation, but it has a real unique problem in that it assumes that every shot is worth the same point value. It assumes that your shot at the rim or beyond the three-point line is the same point value, and it's not. And in there lies the key problem with using the standard field goal percentage that's in the box score. Okay, let's, let's take an example. Assume you wanted to compare two players, Buddy Heald and TJ Warren. You might want to know how well they shoot. And so if you just looked up their field goal percentage, you'd be inclined to think that, well, TJ is a way better shooter than Buddy Heald. After all, his field goal percentage is nearly 10% higher. But remember the problem with field goal percentage. It assumes that every shot is worth the same point value. Okay, so let's look at where they get their points. But first, let's check out the effective field goal percentage, how we calculate it. You still take your field goal makes divided by your field goal attempts, but there's a key section in here that I've highlighted in red that basically says that, hey, your three-point makes are worth 50% more than two-point shots. Okay, so when you take that and you look at how Buddy Heald and TJ Warren take their shots, you see that Buddy Heald takes much fewer two-point shots than TJ Warren and much more three-point shots than Warren. Okay, so he's taking much more shots from an area that is giving Buddy a higher point value every time he shoots. Okay, so now... With that context, let's look at how the effective field goal percentage look in the comparison. Field goal percentage, there was a 10% gap. Now, there's just a 2.5% gap in their effective field goal percentage. By virtue of Buddy Heald taking so many three-point jump shots, with it being a farther distance from the hoop, his field goal percentage is going to lower. But because a three-point jump shot is going to give you 50% more points every time you make a shot versus a two-pointer, his effective field goal percentage is going to raise his overall uh, percentage. And so it's much more close to what TJ Warren's is. This also applies to teams. Okay, If you looked at the San Antonio Spurs and the Utah Jazz, their field goal percentage aren't, percentages aren't that different, just a half a percent difference. But when you factor in that the Jazz take 37% of their shots as threes, but the Spurs only take 30%, that explains why when you look at the effective field goal percentage, the Utah Jazz go from just a half a percent difference over the Spurs to over 2% difference in effective field goal percentage. It's really important that we begin to use uh, effective field goal percentage. So the next time you open up ESPN to check the team stats, uh, realize that they don't always show effective field goal percentage. Instead, go to cleaning the glass. Cleaning the glass is a site that actually doesn't even bother with, with field goal percentage. Instead, they just show the effective field goal percentage because it shows a much more clear picture of what is taking place in a team or player's shooting. We've hoped you enjoyed this first episode of Basketball Stats Explained. Uh, hopefully, you'll start using effective field goal percentage in your basketball analysis and in comparisons of different players and teams. And we'll be sure to be coming out with more videos. So subscribe to our YouTube channel, head over to Twitter, and give us a follow at Jabber underscore Jazz. As always, go Jazz and go basketball.